So as of when this video comes out, I will have been using OpenSUSE Tumbleweed for 500 days. Now, for those of you who've used the same distro for 20 years, that's not impressive. But for me, I'm a distro hopper at heart, 500 days is pretty damn impressive. And I have done various status updates about my two-year Linux challenge over the course of the last 500 days. And it's time for another one. This will be the last one I do until I'm actually done with the challenge, which will happen in July of next year. So we're still a good, what, six, seven months out, eight months out, whatever it is. <laughs> that pesky math. <laughs> There's a reason I'm a historian, not a computer scientist, because I can't do math. Anyways, the point is, is that I've been using it for 500 days, and I have some thoughts. So the last time I did one of these stat status updates, I was still ecstatic about OpenSUSE. I loved this distro, and I won't say that I don't still love it. I think it's still very, very good. It is very, very stable. The integration with ButterFS and Snapshots and, and Snapper to do all that stuff, if you fuck it up and you can go back, if an update messes things up, you can go back. It's just so good. And no other distro that's a regular Linux distro, if it's not, a, in other words, it's not immutable, really does it that well. Fedora can do it, but it's not set up out of the box. Uh, getting ButterFS and Snapper and stuff set up on Debian or Ubuntu is not easy to do, and it's definitely not something a, a brand new to Linux users ever going to want to do. And, and even an established Linux user probably not going to want to do it. Uh, on Arch, you can do it again, but you're finding it available out of the box is pretty rare. I think Arco does it, maybe Endeavor, not exactly sure. And I know that Vanilla Arch will allow you to use ButterFS, but it doesn't come up set up with snapshots and snapper installed as far as I know. So this combination still makes me love OpenSUSE. But since the last time I did one of these steps, these check-ins, I have started having some reservations about this distro in some really big ways. And I think that the biggest problem is just what I use my computer for. Now, when it comes to my traditional regular day job where I make all of my money, I have had any problems because all I do is sit in front of either Google Docs or Vim or Genie and edit all day long. I read approximately 150,000 words every couple of days, sometimes even more than that. And it just, you know, I sit here, I check, correct people's grammar. I make sure they're spelling things correctly. I make sure that they're not repeating themselves, which is ironic given how much I repeat myself, but it's one of the reasons why I'm pretty good at it. And, you know, I, that's what I do for a living. I, I'm, I work for a historical magazine and I went from being a writer to an editor and that transition was not the best, but it's happened and it's, you know, it's been a couple years or but anyways, the point is, is that when it comes to my regular job, everything's fine. But when it comes to using OpenSUSE for this channel to make content, I've become a little bit less satisfied. Now, most of the stuff is still good. OBS still works okay. That's great. But Audacity, for whatever reason, on OpenSUSE has been buggy AF lately. And I don't know why. I do use the Flatpak version of it. I've had crashes, for whatever reason, the, the decibel volume meter or whatever just has stopped being accurate at all. So if you listen to my patron-only podcast this last week, you'll know that the audio was completely blown out. It did not sound like that at all in Audacity. And the, de the, the decibel meter still says it was like at negative 24 when it was actually at like zero. <laughs> That's nuts, right? I had the same problem with this podcast that will come out here or that just came out. So... I, I kept adding volume to it and it just was broken. So that's an audacity problem, but I haven't had that same problem with the flat pack on other uh, distros. So there's some kind of interaction there with OpenSUSE that's not working properly. I need to fix it, but it's still there. And and, and the probably the biggest one, and I'm going to blame my editor, Nate, for this. He got me on to DaVinci Resolve. And I love DaVinci Resolve. I really do. I hated Caden Live mostly because of its constant problems when it comes to stability but resolve while it's more stable is much harder to install and getting it to work on certain distros is just a pain in the ass so i have faced this problem of either going back to caden live or using a secondary editing pc at least up until now and i've chosen to do that because i can't get open susa to actually work with davinci resolve all that well. I did finally get it to run. I did finally get it to able to edit 
actual videos, but a lot of the codecs aren't actually available to me because I use AMD for, and I use the open source drivers. The problem is that the proprietary AMD drivers aren't available on OpenSUSE. You can't get them. Like, like I have asked in the forums, I've done hours and hours upon of searching for actually installing the AMD GPU Pro drivers and it can't be done. Like it just apparently, I mean, someone said they were successful. I followed their steps. It didn't work because it was like three or four years old at this point. And apparently no one else needs these things or has tried to do it. So I need those drivers in order for Resolve to actually be fully functional and I can't get them. So that's just another thing that's kind of adding on to my dissatisfaction. And on top of that, I've had so many problems with Wayland. Now, this is a, that's more of a Wayland problem than OpenSUSE. That's 100% true. But it still has added to my dissatisfaction. I've gone crawling back to X. I've talked about this in a recent video. I, I use Qtel, and Qtel is fantastic. Xorg is still, like, rock stop solid. Like, it's so good. I understand from a development standpoint, I, you know, whatever, but from a user standpoint, Xorg is still just the thing that you should use. I'm sorry, but it is. But it still feels like a regression for me, right? I was using Wayland for a while, and it was pretty good, and then I was starting having some problems, and it, they weren't even, like, big problems, but there were problems, and were, like, you know, a death by a thousand cuts, and eventually I decided I just needed something that was stable. And does this is not great. Also, I want to use my NVIDIA card. Like, so I can't get Resolve to work well with my AMD card. So I bought an NVIDIA 4070 Super. It was expensive. I spent money on it that I probably shouldn't have. I should have saved it or invested it or something. But I did it because I wanted to use Resolve on OpenSUSE. I didn't want to have to use an, an alternative PC to do it. The drivers for OpenSUSE are continually out of date. And now this is open source of Tumbleweed. This is the rolling release. This is the distro that is supposed to be in front of everything. And there are two versions of NVIDIA drivers behind because they follow a different branch. They follow the stable branch. And the most recent version is not on that branch. And when you ask, when are you going to get the 460 drivers or even the 455 drivers? Because it's still using 450. And excuse me, 550. I, I, it's 550. I, 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 that was my mistake. They're still using 550. So they need to, 560 is out right now, I believe. 565, 555 is, is like a really good release or whatever, but they're still on 550. I may have these numbers all messed up. I'm not usually an NVIDIA driver, but the point is, is that there's still two versions behind. And when you ask them, hey, when are we going to get the next version or at least you know, the next two versions? crickets like nobody knows nobody cares uh, and, and it's just been this way for years i had no clue because i've been on an amd driver i've been an amd guy the whole time i've used open but i've experimented with the the nvidia card and it's just unusable because of that old ass driver it just doesn't work that that happened to be one of nvidia's like poorest releases ever and they've stuck they like pinned that in the open susa tumbleweed repos and that's where it is now i did eventually get the brand new drivers installed and still couldn't get resolved to actually work but that's more of a resolve problem than open susa i think but that's beside the point you know it, it's just all of these things now am i going to leave open susa before the end of the the before the end of the challenge? No, I'm going to stick with the challenge. I still got eight or nine months to go or whatever it is. But I, there are cracks forming, right? There, there are things here that are starting to bug me that didn't bug me just a few months ago when I made my last video checking in. It was my year, that was at the year point, which was like, what, you know, 150 days ago or whatever. And, you know, it, it's... I, at that point, I was still like rah rah open Sousa. I, I showed off my sticker. I, I would I would tell you that I was open Sousa fanboy, and I still somewhat feel like that. Like open is still phenomenally stable, but from a more personal perspective of things that I need to use this thing for, like I said, the cracks have started to form, and it, that makes me feel sad because 150 days ago or whatever it was when I did my one year open Sousa review thing. I said that it, there was a good chance that I was going to stay on open Sousa Tumbleweed forever. That this is my home, and that's the way I truly, honestly felt. And I still mostly feel that way, but because of the cracks that have started to form, I foresee being interested in other distros more than I did back then. Things like Bluefin have really intrigued me. I do have a Bluefin review coming out in the next week or so. 
it's a really good distro. It's very, very stable. It works well with DaVinci Resolve. It works well with NVIDIA. You know, yes, it's not the same, but it's still very intriguing to me. Also, I, I've been gazing longingly at Gen 2 again. Like, you know, there are options out there now. Is that going to surface my inner distro hopper? I don't know. I mean, we're still, again, many months away from that decision. But that in my brain is new compared to where I was 150 days ago or whatever. You know, that interest in other distros and trying to see if there's something better is a new feeling for me when it comes to OpenSUSE and this whole challenge because it wasn't there before. I was very much a open, I, I became an OpenSUSE fanboy. I told everyone to use it, that it was the best distro ever. I got annoying AF when it comes to talking about open distro, so, op open SUSE so much that the my friends in my Discord server have made fun of me about how much I, I talk about open SUSE, right? But like I said, the cracks have begun to form and that has eroded some of my enthusiasm about the distro. Add on top of the whole, are they going to rename it to something stupid midway down the line? I, I know the name doesn't really matter, but it would, it would bug me if they chose something stupid. You know, add on top of the, the you know, it feels like the SUSE organization is interfering with OpenSUSE a little bit. And also realizing that the up-to-date nature of the packages isn't so up-to-date, you know, is a little, you know, weird. And, you know, it's just all of these things and... Like I said, that has led me to, you know, start thinking about what's next when it comes to OpenSUSE. And previously, there was no what's next. This was it. So, there you go. Some doubting going on in OpenSUSE land for me. Now, like I said, I don't know if that's going to mean that, you know, in, in July I go and do something different. I don't know yet. But we'll see. If you have thoughts on this, you can leave those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. I know those of you who use a distro for a long, long period of time don't understand my uh, interest in other distros or the distro hopping mentality. I, I feel still like I've gotten over that. I still want a distro that is super stable, and OpenSUSE is that. So, you know, maybe this is still my home, and I just need to buckle up and fix the problems that I'm experiencing. Because that was kind of the whole point of the challenge, was to, when I found a problem, instead of saying, screw it, I'm too lazy, let's go find another distro, instead, what I was supposed to do is actually just sit down and fix the problem that I need to fix. And, and I think that that's where I'll go. So I can't leave OpenSUSE now anyways. I'm not going to use something for 500 days when I need to use it for, you know, just 160 more days or whatever it is you know, in order to win the challenge. I, I, I need to win a challenge. Like, I, I, I quit all the other challenges. I can't quit this one. I'm not going to. So, I need to buckle down, fix the problems that I'm having, and stop whining like a little bitch. There you go. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for this one. Again, comments in the comment section below. If you want to follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey, those links will be in the video description. I'm also now on Blue Sky. I don't know that I'll actually do anything over on blue sky but i do have an account over there i'll try to link that in the video description as well so you can head on over there if you're now one of the refugees from twitter and you're using blue sky instead of mastodon i highly recommend using mastodon i know it's a pain in the ass to set up but it's so much better even than blue sky following hashtags is just the best thing ever but that's another a story for another time anyways you can support me on patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast you can also support me on youtube or ko-fi those links will be in the video description thanks to everybody who does support me on patreon and youtube you guys are all absolutely amazing without you the channel just would not be anywhere near where it is right now so thank you so very much for your support i truly honestly do appreciate it again uh links for all the ways you can support me in the video description you can also head on over to the store which is available at shop at thelinuxcast.org there you'll find all sorts of awesome merchandise all the proceeds for which go directly towards making more linux content for you guys so thank you so very much for your support thanks everybody for watching i'll see you next time